Rails of Sheffield have bought Hatton's Model Railways. Roll the intros. Hello YouTubers and welcome back to Chelmsford Junction. I'm Peter. Now this is a bit of a different video today, tonight. Um, I've just had an email from Rails of Sheffield and I've just gone onto their website and I've just found out that Rails of Sheffield have actually bought uh, Hatton's Model Railways. Now before we all start getting our hopes up and hope thinking that they're going to be coming back and you'll be able to buy things from them again. Um, let me just read what they have put on their website. Oh, bear me two six. So I'm going to look at the computer screen. I'm going to read this out. We are pleased to announce that we have now bought Hatton's Model Railways into the Rails family. It was a shock to the modelling world early this year when Stalwart of the industry Hatton's announced that it was to close. At Rails, we could not allow the legacy of this esteemed brand to disappear and we have sought a way to keep the spirit of Hatton's alive. Many customers reached out to us dismayed that the valuable resources on the Hatton's website, such as the product database and expensive directory system, may be lost forever. Rails will soon relaunch these services and will continue to update them with new information. While the original Hatton store and businesses will remain closed. So the original shop will won't ever open again. And their warehouse that was in Liverpool again will never open. Um, some other uh, interesting information. The Hatton's website directory will relaunch soon. We will continue to update this with new information. You can use this incredible resource to learn about the history of thousands of models and the vehicles which inspired them. You will soon also be able to find links to purchase items via Rails of Sheffield's website. Please stay tuned for further updates regarding the Hatton's brand. Now, they put a selection of five questions that people may ask uh, ha uh, Rails about Hatton's. First question is, will you reopen the Hatton store or warehouse? The physical Hatton store and warehouse will remain closed. Can I return my previous Hatton, Hatton's purchases to Rails? No, Rails have purchased the Hatton's brand, not the business. Returns should be sent to the original manufacturer. So if you've got a problem with your Graham Farish loco, Hornby loco, Dapol loco, obviously you would send them back to the you know associated manufacturers. Will I be able to contact Hatton's directly? Answer, no, Hatton's is now closed. So what Rails of Sheffield are just saying, they have bought the Hatton's name and um, are just using the website for history and historical uh, information and things like that. Will I be able to purchase items at hattons.co.uk? You will still be able to browse items on the Hatton's website but we will provide links to order them via Rails of Sheffield where available. So in other words, if you see an item of stock that's on the Hatton's website, there will be an affiliate, affiliative link to the Rails of Sheffield. And if obviously Rails of Sheffield have got it, then obviously you could purchase that said item. Will my order history customer account transfer to Rails? No, we recommend you make a new account at railsofsheffield.com. So basically what the Rails have done is they bought the Hatton's name, they have taken over the Hatton's website and they are basically, like I said, all like information about say like the class 43 HSTs, the A4 uh, like Mallard, A3 like Flying Scotsman, the P2 Peppercorn, you know, all the history about loco, locos, trains, uh, formations and things like that, that is what this uh new enterprise of Rails of Sheffield are going to be doing with the Hatton's brand name. It is nice to see the Hatton's name back. Um, myself, I was a customer of Hatton's, I'm a customer of Rails of Sheffield, and a few other, uh, man not manufacturers, but shops around the UK. Um, and I have ordered once or twice from uh, overseas as well. 
um, but that was f few and far between. The majority of my stuff I do order from the UK, and I do specifically try and look after, um, you know, homegrown shops, you know, like the little retailers, than rather go to the big guns. If I can't get it from a little retailer, then obviously people like Rail to Sheffield, Gage Master, and when obviously Hattons were around before they closed, obviously I went to Hattons. So at least we are still going to have the Hatter's name on in the life and we are still going to have all the historical information. Hope you have enjoyed this little video and it's a shock to me as it probably is a shock to you guys as well that Rails have done this but good on Rails of Sheffield for doing this and great big thumbs up from myself and the family from the uh, Chelmsford Junction for doing it. If you have enjoyed this video, guys, as always, please smash that like button down on the left-hand side. If you've got any questions or comments about this video, um, and if you want to know more about this um, takeover, then please just go straight to the Rails of Sheffield website. It is on their website, and you can read it for yourselves. Uh, but if you have got any questions or comments, please put any questions or comments down below. If you're a subscriber of mine, great big thumbs up. Thank you for staying with me. And if you just joined us recently... Welcome to the channel, hope that you're enjoying the content so far and hope that you enjoy future content in the future. Until the next video guys, there should be a link coming up here and here, but until the next time, look after yourselves, protect your loved ones, but above all, happy modelling and bye bye from Chelmsford Junction.